Hey guys, it's the Solo Cloth here, and today in some of this Monster Legends analysis video, we're going to be going over Dr. Bloom, and I'm going to tell you guys whether or not he is worth getting out of his new race. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so Dr. Bloom is a support, and his traits are possession immunity, torture immunity, and team regeneration. Torture immunity is very, very good, but the other two are just kind of mediocre. So yeah, not super good traits. And his relics are mask and staff, which are actually pretty good. And then if we go down to his pros and cons, he does have nice traits. He's got great support moves and healings and damage boost, spammable healing moves great speed only weak to fire being magic in nature which is pretty great and then nature element in a magic metal which is very very good and his cons are one of his moves is anticipation bait no ner and low life so let's go on down to the move set so he has a single target bane with total damage reduction which is pretty decent he also has a bane and daze aoe which is pretty good he also has an ally damage boost with an extra turn which is pretty cool he has a team 30 percent heal and a team 50 percent heal with double damage so this monster does actually have some pretty great supporting moves i like those quite a bit it could obviously be better if it had ner or per but instead it just has double damage so this monster will be good for bounty hunts because it has double damage and you don't really need any RPR in bounty hunts. So yeah, this monster will be very, very good to get for bounty hunts. So I do definitely recommend that you guys get it out of the race, but I honestly don't really think it's worth ranking up. But you should definitely still get it, so try to find a good team to at least get 10 laps so that you can at least get the monster. But yeah, don't really bother ranking it up past rank 1. Try to get it to rank 1 though if you can, just to get that torture immunity because it is very good. But yeah, rank 3 honestly isn't super worth it at all. But yeah, pretty decent monster. Go ahead and get it. Try to get it to rank 1. Get this double damage move. That is definitely an express move. It is a very good move. And you could even do the ally damage boost before that to give him even more damage boost. And yeah, your attacker will just be able to do tons of damage. It is definitely worth getting. So yeah, get it, use it in bounty hunts, and yeah, go ahead and just get it out of the race. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Over to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.